Welcome to this video on palladium silver membrane preparation. These membranes are used for highly selective hydrogen separation and find applications in membrane reactors with a remarkable performance. First, the metal support is polished to reduce surface roughness. The smoothened support is oxidized to prevent oxide formation during a later sintering step. To prevent diffusion of palladium in the metallic support, a ceramic layer needs to be deposited between the support and the selective palladium layer. This is done by dip coating the support in a dispersion of baymite and various other additives. The deposited layer is dried in a climate chamber at 40 degrees Celsius. To finalize the diffusion protection layer, the support is sintered at 550 degrees Celsius in a static air furnace. The support is seeded with palladium by dip coating it in a palladium acetate solution in chloroform. The support is then dried and reduced in an aqueous hydrazine solution to form palladium nuclei from which a palladium membrane can grow. The dip coating in chloroform, drying and reduction steps are repeated several times. Now, the palladium silver layer is formed using an electroless plating technique. The support is placed in a solution of palladium acetate, silver nitrate and various other compounds. Hydrazine is added to the plating bath to reduce the palladium and silver onto the metallic layer. Lastly, the membrane is annealed in a hydrogen atmosphere. The final result is a stable palladium silver membrane, ready to use in novel reactors or gas separation units.